Welcome back to the north. And we have some northern sounding fish in the fish room now. Uh, we've added them to the parrot tank. Um, these are two purple parrots. They look like normal um, blood parrots. Uh, and they are, but they get a purple uh, hue to their body when they grow, so they call them purples. Uh, but we picked up some baby polar blue parrots. And these are really cool fish. Really cool fish. Um, the males develop uh, a bit of a nuchal hunk, just like the um, just like the uh, the, uh, the flower horns do. So it's a little different with these guys, but they're otherwise parrot fish. And parrot fish are hybrid fish, as are these. Um, this is a mix between an actual parrot and a Honduran red point. Uh, now a lot of people will say, Sean, that's just a fancy convict, but it's not. It's not an all a convict. Uh, there's a lot of confusion when it comes to what people call a convict, and this certainly is not a convict. This, some people might, might call a convict too, but you'll notice it's blue instead of gray and stri and instead of straight stripes. The uh, there's a bit of a, a, a shape to the stripe pattern. These are the Honduran red points. And when they get older, they get red bellies and uh, red in the back of their fins, I guess. And I think the regular um, convicts do that too, but these guys are named for it. They're from a different part of, of South America. And although they are genetically related, technically, They've got a couple hundred thousand years of evolutionary difference. And they are not like a hybrid of a convict that was created by mother Na or by humans. These are a natural fish that are very different than a convict. Although they may have shared a common ancestor in the same way that us humans shared a common ancestor with Neanderthals. And uh, there's more time between this fish and a convict than there is between our divergence from Neanderthals. So, they're not a convict. That's my opinion. Some people just say, nope, they're a convict, and there's a lot of arguing about that, but they're not a convict. And why are they not a convict? Because although these fish can be tough in defending their babies, should they be challenged, just like a convict would, uh, these fish will hide their eggs and hide their babies instead of the convict tactic of killing everything in your tank. These will shy away and they might establish a small territory but they're not going to kill everybody in your tank unless of course something maybe threatens their babies so i picked these up because i wanted to make the polar blue um, the polar polar blue parrots and i was going to cross hope one of these was a male and hope one of those was a female but then miraculously because these fish these polar blue fish are a new uh, hybrid somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 years old, maybe 15, uh, never before, before existing before then. They're uh, a lot more popular in Asia than they are here in North America. They're starting to show up in the States and I'm absolutely shocked to have found a guy uh, breeding them up here in Canada. And he wasn't ter he wasn't in my city, but he was coming to my city just by chance for a, uh, uh, you know, an event. And uh, we worked it out where he brought some in for me. And uh, I paid the man. I got a really good deal. And they're just gorgeous fish. And the thing about these parrot fish is they're like mules because they're hybrids. So what happens is you produce a batch, but all the males will be sterile. Typically, all the males will be sterile. Sometimes you don't you get... Uh, a fertile male, even with these parrots, but it's it's it, uh, the the red ones. But it's not the females will be fine, but the males, just like mules, will be fertile. But this particular guy's strain, all the males are fertile. The fertility uh, 
it's almost like they're turning into a new species because if all the males stay fertile, that's it. They're, they've literally become a new species of fish. And uh, yeah, uh, this line, all the males are fertile. The other nice thing about this line is because uh, they all they all don't do this either. These males get the the I don't know if I'm saying it right the nuchal hump uh, that I explained earlier. Uh, flower horns get those as well. So they almost get it more like a, a an aranda uh, lionhead goldfish would. So it's quite beautiful. Very long veiled tails. I'll show you a picture of the father of these guys. We'll have to go up to the computer for that. So here's the father. This is an adult male. You can see how he's got the little hump on his head. Uh, and, and they get even more pronounced with age. See, so he, he's still on the young side. And uh, nice long fins. This one looks like it wasn't fed anything that enhances color, but uh, I will be doing that. So mine will be bright blue. And uh, But yeah, what a beautiful fish. And they got personality and everything else. It's just, just a phenomenal fish. Smaller fish. This, by the way, is what you get when you mix a convict, a normal black convict, with a normal red blood parrot. It's not a polar. It's not what I just showed you. You get a completely different fish out of it. Just to show you the differences between the Honduras, Honduran Red Point, and an actual convict. When you mix the fish with parrotfish, you get different results. So, and um, you wouldn't want to use, you wouldn't want to use a convict because then the resulting fry, when they uh, have babies, will just kill everything in the tank. So. Um, it's also not blue at all. So, um, yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun with these fish. They're, you know, medium on the aggressive range. But they don't really do much harm because they have soft mouths. So it's just more of a harassing thing that they do. And, uh... Parrotfish love other parrotfish. They won't even hurt hurt little ones around them. These guys do not care. Once they realized that they were parrotfish, species identification kicked in. They were, nope, not going to hurt them. Uh, they're also too big to fit in anybody's mouth, so that's uh, that's probably the other reason. But they're just going to be gorgeous. Look at he's probably a male. He's just huge. Can't wait to see him get those nuchal humps. Be like little mini flower horns. And I've given them lots of hiding spaces. And spaces they can fit in that the other fish can't. So, um, even if they wanted to chase them around, they're really fast little guys. They'll just, they'll go into, into one crack and out the other. And line of sight gets broken. Problem solved. Just turns into a waste of time for the pursuer, and they give up. Lots of caves, lots of little spots for them to hide. A few of them have been hiding back here in the corner. They're they they like caves. These fish. Looks like one of the big ones is uh, taking up taking up residence there. So that's what you do, you just give them caves and they'll grow them out. They're really good parents. And uh, like I said, I bet you all the males I'll have will be fertile because this guy's got a really good strain. So I'm happy to have them. Should be a half decent money fish. Parrot fish fetch a pretty good dollar. And uh, I'll be breeding them. They grow fast too. Like. Anywhere between four to six months from now, they should be adults and making babies. So, uh, this tank, the upper rack tank, is has just gotten super cool. 
I mean, keep the lower tank for, you know, if I have to separate fish or anything else. So, and I think we're going to make this tank a flower horn tank. Still wait for one of those. The community tank's doing great. Needs a bit of a glass cleaning. But uh, nobody's harmed anybody. Everybody's doing good. Even the eels coming out and uh, swimming around now. So we're going to start seeing some more Ely 2.0 down here with this tank. And things remain peaceful down here in the Oscar tank. I love the sort of smoky gray look on this with this one. Showing her blacks. Nice and dark. She's, she's fitting in. She's doing good. She's uh, accepted that she's not the top banana. They've made it clear to her that she's not the top banana. And it's really interesting watching how they do that. They'll basically, if she's giving attitude, they'll gang up on her and they'll come in, they'll start nudging and telling her, no, 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 you don't do that. And if the little ones don't get the message across, then the big one comes up. Gives it, gives it a little, gives it a little nudge and says, "You better stop." And it's all quite gentle, and uh, it stays gentle unless, of course, that one fish decides to challenge the school, and that would be just nonsensical. She knows it's futile. So they they straighten each other out when you have enough of them, and I think that's really cool loving the silver dollars. Isn't that gorgeous? Adult, full, grown-out silver dollars. Beautiful tank. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day.